Hello and welcome to another episode of Box Trek. I'm your host, Matt Brady. Joining me today, Ezra Kirk. Ezra, how you doing? Uh, doing all right, buddy. Really excited for this one. Seriously, one of the best things I think we've ever done. So, uh, Yeah, absolutely. So Ezra and I just played a bunch of a game called Astro Bears Party, and it's freaking awesome. Yeah. Uh, this is totally a Nintendo eShop uh, gem. It mm-hmm. is on sale currently. Um, it's like I think it's like five bucks to begin with, and it's on sale for like three. Um, but I've seen a bunch of people do uh, have put this game in like games to look out for on the Nintendo eShop, and so we just thought, hey, we'll give it a try. And then like three hours later, here we are. Yeah, exactly. I mean, th- it's consumed me. Matt had to drag me out of the room to do this. <laughs> review otherwise it'd still be there yeah it's crazy so it's by far one of the most simple games so really all it boils down to is you play as a bear with a jetpack and you're running around a sphere and you're essentially leaving this trail behind you it's kind of like snake like old school Mm -hmm. snake um and there's two modes there's like a single player mode where is actually just snake uh and you're trying to collect these um, like little ships, spaceships? Yeah, the little ships, yeah. um, and you're trying to avoid running into your own trail. But where the game really shines is in four-player mode, um, or yeah. even two-player mode, where it's just a party game. I mean, literally, you just it's, you have run, jump, and sprint. Um, it's pretty much all you do. You just move, yep. yeah, you move your Joy-Con or your joystick or whatever. Um, and the game is just crazy at how simple it is, how easy it is to pick up, um, but it's just it's so much fun. It's so much fun, and there, there's more to it than I mean. It is simple, but yet the com- the the little um, complexities with like the jetpack capacity and like right. your speed boost. Yeah, yeah. So there's yeah. So there's four different characters, four different bears. Um, I did find it, find it funny that they like to give they like so they they give you like what type of bear they are. Like they're like right. animal kingdom breakdown. They, as yeah. it's like, we looked it up. It's like it's like a polar bear. Obviously, a polar bear, a panda bear, a grizzly bear, and then the other one we had to look up was it's a sun bear, which mm-hmm. I think is like Southeast Asia or something. Yeah. yeah. So um, we're actually thinking about doing uh, a drinking game for this. Oh, we're, we're yeah. Gonna, we're going to live stream it. Um, and we're going to figure out exactly how we want to do it, but I think we're going to do it. I think it's going to be hilarious. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the game is just a lot of fun. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like three bucks. It is without question. If you are looking for something to pick up on the Switch, um, the eShop that is really cheap. It is definitely a way to go. Uh, like, what else should we Guys, talk about? Is? Well, all I want to say is I, I, I cannot recommend this strongly enough. Yeah. I, I really cannot. Like if you're, if you're honestly listening and you have $3 on you and you, you know, have a switch, there's no reason you should not have this yeah. game. Yeah. It's the perfect little hidden gem on a uh, gem on the Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo switch eShop. Uh, It's totally perfect for playing on the go. Just pick it up. You're going to play, you know, you believe you have, so there's three different worlds. You have small, medium, and large. Mm -hmm. Then you have, you can, you pick the point total you want to play to. So every time you get somebody to run into your trail, you get four points. Mm -hmm. So you can play to, I believe it's 20, 40, I think it's 20, 40, 80, 80, and then 160. Yep. Yeah, um, and so Ez and I played a match to 80, and I think it took us like three minutes, three, four minutes. It yeah. Didn't, I it didn't take us that long. But let me just recommend, 80 is probably, I think, one of the, it's like a perfect, I think that's the best. I think that's the best right. Right way to go. Because I was down by so many points mm-hmm. and came storming back, and let me tell you, it was so rewarding. Um, but yeah, I thought 80 points was the perfect Spot yeah, if you're, if you're playing with four people, 160 is probably yeah. a good way to go. Um, and even we played, even with just two people playing, found that the different worlds totally changed the way we played. Mm-hmm. So each bear has, like, their own stats. Um, some, you have, like, I guess speed, turn radius, um, how quickly, how much boost their jetpack has, and how mm-hmm. quickly their jetpack recharges. Right, yeah, like the capacity of the jetpack, yeah, and the recharge rate, yeah. And yep. you would think that, like, it really is a big difference between, huge. between the play styles of the Bears. Yes. Which is actually, like, surprising given there's only four, and actually the stats are actually quite a bit more impactful than I originally thought they would be Right, going going into it. For example, the the Panda Bear. Um, I that's, who, that's who I like. Right, I, I couldn't handle the speed. Yeah. I mean, that's what she said, but, you know, I, <laughs> I mean... 
I, I could not handle the speed, and it was like I couldn't control. I kept running into your your trail, you know. Which yeah, yeah, nuts. yeah. And then you have like I think it's like Neil or Norm or whatever. Neil, Neil, yeah, Neil's like, my guy. Neil's the grizzly bear who's like really balanced. Yes. Um, and so his turn radius is really good and uh, stuff like but that. But was it the sun bear that was like crazy, like the crazy? Yeah, he one? looks like he's nuts. Looks like, like he's nuts. Yeah, yeah, he looks he looks like he's nuts. Um, yeah, he has he had like his jetpack was like really small or something. Um, but then his like he had like a really good turn radius. Right, yeah. yeah so the one that I like the most, I think, is the polar bear. Yeah, like the polar bears. The they're all good on yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if you're watching our, um, you know, if you're watching right now with the, the gameplay footage, you'll see the different tactics that I try to take, like running right at Matt versus like doing all these little small jumpy hills for him mm -hmm. to try to get around and stuff. Yeah, just... and it and it gets it gets really chaotic. So in like the small map, it gets really chaotic, and I found that I'm jumping a lot more in the mm -hmm. small map. Yeah, and then in the medium and large maps, I found that like. In the medium map, the regular sized one, um, I find it's like a good balance of both. In the last one, though, I, it's almost like you and I both kept running into this thing where we'd, we'd run, I think, into our own trails more. Right. Because we're like, well, we have so much space to turn. And then, like, you then like you start going over, like, the side of the planet. So it's like a sphere and it's just mm -hmm. rotating. And you realize, like, oh, my God, wait, there's a trail there. Like, mm -hmm. Whereas in the small map, you're kind of like, okay, I'm good. I can handle it, like... Right, yeah, once you get on the, on the bigger map, it was almost like you get lulled into, like, a sense of security. You're like, yeah. oh, there's all this room. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. No, you know? there's not. No, there's not. So Yeah, so yeah, so there's really just two modes, single player, multiplayer. Um, but, again, it's, like, four bucks, and I'm so dying now to play this with four people. Yeah, same here. Because I bet it's going to be crazy. Um, and but, you were saying this is something that you could swap in at a party really quick and, like, you have people just in and out, you know, real fast. Absolutely, because the, match, yeah, the matches, are, matches are short. Matches are totally short. Um, I'm going to try and see here. Something about maybe the developer. I don't know anything about them. Okay. Uh, while you're doing that, I played single player um, mode. And I was like, die. this is what Matt couldn't get me uh, in here to do this podcast uh, or this this review. I was just I just kept playing. I, I could not stop, you know, trying to get that high score. There's, there's like this leaderboard. You've got uh, four different slots in it. And I kept coming in last place. So... Um, I had Neil there. I was working, you know, on getting these. I would get through the first round, and I would get the ships, you know. And the faster you get those ships, the more combos you get. So, you know, I was getting my combos, and then I would get to round two, and then I was just going too fast. I kept running into my own, you know, uh, tail essentially, and so I had to had to slow down. I thought I thought I was on a timer, and I'm, you know, you're not. You need to take your time and make sure you don't. Uh, but it is important to go fast so you get the combo, so you yep. get the higher score. Yeah, and that's re that's really addictive, uh, you know, just trying to get that high score. Uh, it looks like it's made by Cubic Games. They haven't really made a lot that I've ever heard of. Maybe Robonauts. That's about the only one I think I've uh, ever heard of. Um, so it must be a small developing small develop uh, company. But, um, yeah, uh, it's been out for a little while for the Switch. I believe this has been out since September. But I really want to start doing um, more of these little, like, indie game highlights, spotlights. And this was one I've just seen a lot. And so I figured, okay, check it out. And, uh, yeah, glad I did. Mm -hmm. It's addictive. This is one of the most addictive games I've ever played. Yeah. So uh, check it out. Uh, it's on sale right now, I think, for, like, 3 bucks. Um, but even still, totally a hidden gem on the Nintendo Switch eShop. Check it out.